What's up guys, my name is Gabe and welcome into the Trojan Blade. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter Sunday. We got an awesome surprise yesterday as USC has received the commitment of 2025 South Lake Texas halfback Riley Wormley. When USC gets a running back commit, you just know he's going to be from the state of Texas. But before we get into this more and break down Riley's game, I would ask that you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so please do hit that button. I would be honored if you chose to join this community. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get into this. All right, so talking about Riley Wormley. Rankings wise, we're looking at the number 39 running back in the country and the number 70 overall player in the state of Texas. And for all you three star haters out there, let me just say about the running back position that I do not give a damn about star rankings. I care about our coaching staff's eval of the player, and from there, I'm ready to roll with whoever they bring in. As we've seen with running backs in the NFL, it's all about scheme fit and baseline athleticism. You also want to build and sculpt your running back room in different ways. Size-wise, for example, Riley's listed at 5'9", 170. Now, he obviously will not be playing at SC at 170. But these different sort of profiles really give you flexibility out of the backfield. And in an offense as diverse as Lincoln Riley's, that always helps. Having said that though, this is a player I could absolutely see moving into the slot. You see him catching the ball in its very natural form. He seems to be a very good route runner. The size or lack thereof in this case, mixed with the home run hitting ability when he has space really gives me a sort of Rayleigh Brown vibe. Now to say that he could move into the slot isn't to downplay his ability as a halfback. This guy put up some absolutely video game numbers there at South Lake Carroll High School. He played in 10 games and ran for 901 yards, 19 touchdowns. But the crazy part is he averaged nearly 11 yards per carry, which is absolutely Absolutely remarkable. But far and away, my favorite thing about Riley is his ability downfield as a blocker. I mean, goodness, this kid absolutely destroys people when he's blocking. That's a mindset you either have or you don't. I don't believe you can coach a player to have that killer instinct as a blocker. You're not going to have to worry about Riley in that regard. Some absolute monster blocks on his tape, which is fantastic to see. I mean, just his highlight reel in general is one of the more fun ones out there. Huge plays, huge blocks, a ton of touchdowns, a very fun watch. But yeah, that adds another out-of-state player to the 2025 class. We have six commits and they're from Georgia, 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 Florida, Texas, and Texas. Clear what the strategy is here. USC has, of course, been really quite unlucky in recent years with our hit rate on in-state big-time recruits. Whether it's Damani, Ray Lee, Corey, it just hasn't worked. So if we're flipping our process, I am on board with it. And of course, I do want to hear your thoughts on Riley and the 2025 recruiting class down below. Please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all the support. You're all awesome. And as always, take care and fight on.